There's news every day in the National Football League, and as we learned on Sunday, sometimes news happens during the games themselves. News that did not happen during any games today <laughs> came from Aaron Rodgers, his weekly visit with Pat McAfee, one of his two platforms where he can air whatever grievances he wants to, which is fitting because it is the season of Festivus. Here he is, not necessarily airing grievances, but providing an update on the status of his broken pinky toe. I did get some great information about my foot. There was nothing really uh, revolutionary. There was uh, no mindset change or anything. The, the biggest key is rest. I wish that there was another one of these weeks so I could, you know, get 14 to 21 uh, great days without doing anything. But, uh, you know, the toe is, is improving, and uh, we'll see, uh, see how it feels later in the week. I think any decision that's made uh, would be one that allows me to play. Um, I'm not going to miss any games. I've obviously played with much uh, bigger injuries, uh, different parts of my body. And uh, this, although it's a small uh, pinky toe, it's definitely painful and, and uh, creates some issues. But I'm not going to miss any games because of it. You know, for a guy who spent time last week whining about members of the organization blabbing yep. about his health information, he's talking a blue streak, Jack. And what he may as well do in this season of the, the, the my cause, my cleats, which is a great cause. I don't mean to make light of it at all. Yeah. But he may want to paint a target right over his pinky toe on his cleats because it's already there. And he's, <laughs> he's lucky, as we've said before, that he's not facing Indomitian Sioux and his frozen feet. Remember that routine? He stomped <laughs> oh, on yeah. Aaron Rodgers' calf during a late regular season game a few years back because my feet were, were numb because it was so cold in Green Bay. So I got stepped on against the Vikings, and it may get stepped on again, accidentally or accidentally, Shireen. Yeah. Well, and I was sitting there watching that thing, the same thing, Mike. Okay, who is he going to blame after this interview for releasing his medical inter information? It, it, Dak Prescott would call that a HIPAA violation, releasing your own information, but I digress. Uh, you know, he did opted not to have the surgery because they would have put a pin in there and it would have immobilized the, the pinky toe, and he didn't want to do that, so he did consult out in L.A. with another foot specialist, and they all agreed that he can finish the season as is. We'll see how much that thing can heal in a couple of weeks with the bye week. But it seems to me, Mike, that this team with Aaron Rodgers, the shape he's in, now he's played awfully well, I get it, but they could use that first round bye week that as the number one seed more than any other team that we're talking about in contention for that number one seed. Yeah, and it's not just getting him the rest. It's getting the home games at Lambeau Field. And this is the second year of only one team <coughs> per conference having a week off, the one seed, the ultimate advantage. Enjoy it while you can because I think it's just a matter of time before no one has a bye and there are 16 playoff teams because more games, more money, especially more games of significant consequence. For now, though, you get that week off, and he really needs it, especially after a 17-game season, although for him it's 16 because he missed the one game due to COVID. And actually, we still don't know how he hurt the toe. It, it may be right. fortuitous that he got that week off for COVID because maybe he wouldn't have been able to play against the Chiefs anyway because of that toe injury. I never even thought of that. But we didn't know about the toe at all until yeah. he came back. So unless he injured it while he was off on the COVID reserve list, it was a lingering problem that was still very prevalent after he didn't play for two weeks in the first place. So he may not have – who knows? He may have been affected. He may have injured it worse. We, he may be in a more dire situation if he hadn't missed that game against the Chiefs in week nine. And guess what, Mike? If he wasn't vaccinated and hadn't gotten COVID, he's not vaccinated. If he hadn't gotten COVID, he would be out right now because I'm sure he was a close contact to Jordan Love. So all these things have played into it. But I think he said at one point a couple weeks ago that he injured it actually during the COVID quarantine week. And if that's the case, there's got to be a story there. Like, I want to know what the story is, how you hurt your pinky toe. He trip over something. Was he working out in his yard? Like, how did he injure that toe if he truly injured it during that week of COVID? I want to know. I want to know what the story is. And I, you raise a compelling point because you're right. He has an exemption from the close contact rules up yeah. until the Tuesday after the NFC Championship game. Obviously, if they're still alive, then he's not tested on a daily basis. 
he has a testing holiday because he's regarded as having sufficient antibodies that it's not an issue. If he had not, if he had not tested positive and missed that time, he would have been out for five days. Now, Jordan Love got knocked out. Was it yesterday? Was it Monday that he got knocked out? Monday, yeah. So he could okay, have been back for then the he, game. He could have been back for the game, but he would have missed the full week of practice. And uh, sorry about that. And um, uh, but regardless, he's exempt from that because of the fact that he did have that positive. So we get to see Aaron Rodgers on Sunday Night Football against the Chicago Bears. I do two radio spots a week on WSCR in Chicago, one on Tuesday morning and one late morning Wednesday, and they are dreading this game because they 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 know the drill (laughs) that the bears are going to get drilled but we got to sell it because it's here on peacock it's on nbc it's a legendary rivalry tune in to see aaron Rodgers and the green bay packers make like the harlem globetrotters against the washington generals as they take on the chicago bears but you know what sometimes once in a while maybe one time ever the generals won and one thing we've learned this year case in point texans beating the titans anything can happen when you line up on a football field for 60 minutes. Maybe we'll get a weather game. We'll get a snow game, another wind game. Who knows? Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.